Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be something a little bit different. It's still FPV related though, so I think a lot of you guys are still like it. Anyways, a little bit ago I got the Emax Interceptor FPV car. It's a really fun toy to kind of mess around with indoors when it's raining. Um, but two days after I got it, kind of had an incident with one of my friends and it went down the stairs and broke. So this is about all that's left of it. Anyways, I thought this gave me the perfect opportunity to try to design something in Fusion 360 and 3D print it up with my 3D printer because uh, I'm learning some design and CAD. So let's get started. So basically what I was thinking is we're going to have this axle here. I'm going to try to put the motor in the back somewhere about there. And then I'm probably going to mount all the electronics up front in between where I'll have the front axle with the steering, which I didn't bring down. But yeah, that's basically uh, my plan for this. So let's jump into Fusion 360 and see what we can do. One hour later. All right, guys, so we've got the first model that I designed up here. This was actually one of my first Fusion 360 models ever. So it's not that good, but it was a good attempt. So basically, I just wanted to get the gear ratio correct on here. So I just made some uh, a wide hole for the gear here and a place to slide in the motor. Let's grab this model. Nice. So looks pretty good for the most part. Uh, let's check the gearing and see how that's working out. Seems like there's definitely a big enough hole for the gear. So let me just put on the motor. So the motor has fit pretty well. Uh, it has a little room to wiggle, which is good if I want to move it around. And now basically this is how I'm thinking the part will go. Okay guys, so this one actually turned out pretty well. As you can see, the gearing fits perfectly in there. Um, the only problem is that back here, uh, these gears aren't actually touching because if you see, um, I didn't make the slit go back further enough this way. So the gears don't touch, but I can easily just extend that or move the motor forward on the next model. Um, as far as the steering goes, it didn't work because um, this slit didn't really fit it well and it was a little bit more complicated to put this axle with all this weird steering and stuff on there. So I'm thinking I might just take the original piece of the chassis that fits this steering and just mount it onto the car because the main thing I wanted to make the casing for is the back part because that's what broke before. Um, but it'll still be making the FPV car, I'll just be not designing that front part. Which I think is a uh, easier solution that might be more robust also. Um, besides that, the electronics stack fits pretty well right here. I screwed it down before, but... So here is model 3. I mounted everything up on it and it looks pretty good. The one thing was the camera, uh, the mount for the camera actually broke off because it wasn't that good. So I drove it and it works well. Version 4, I would say the final version, has a couple little updates. So let's print this thing out and get to a build montage.
Alrighty guys, so here it is, the final version of the 3D printed and designed Emacs Interceptor homemade version. Um, and yeah, I'd say it looks pretty cool. I do like the homemade look of it, but at the same time, it's pretty uh, sturdy. Everything's screwed on or hot glued on, which can either be good or bad. Um, I added some weight to the front here and a little bit to the back on the bottom just because from driving the first one I knew it was going to skid out some so I did that hoping that it'll prevent it from doing that and make the FPV experience a little better. Um, so I've got my goggles and the transmitter here and let's give this thing a go. Thank you. 